Hey everyone, this is Narada, African Hair God, and I'm coming at you guys today with this video because there is something that I wish to discuss and address that I encountered today. Um, as I was checking my email, checking um, my comments and um, updates on my videos or whatever, I came across this one comment from this one person um, who commented on my coming out story. Um, so I'm just going to basically read to you what she wrote. <clears throat> it says, live your life the way you want, but do not think that God is happy or you are justified. Homosexuality is an abomination unto God. So don't get me wrong. I don't ever hate the person, but hate the sin. Sin is enmity towards God and sin cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. So if you want to be a child of God, you have to let go of sin. Not justifying your mom's actions. Nothing else matters but what God thinks. God doesn't hate the sinner, but God hates the sin. And she goes on to say, please read 1 uh, Corinthians chapter 6, 9 through, verse 9 through 11, I guess is what that is. Um, yes, so... Before I actually get into this comment, um, I do want to address that, uh, yes, as you guys know, I am open about my sexuality. That's not something that I um, try to conceal. Um, I am gay, and I do understand that people, including myself, have their own set of beliefs and values. Um, I'm in no way trying to get anyone to... Um, believe in my, what I believe in or value what I value. Um, everyone, like I said, everyone has their own beliefs and I'm not trying to force mine upon you. Um, so getting into this comment, the first thing that really just um, made this like struck a nerve with me was the fact that you had the nerve, I'm sorry, she had the nerve to tell me that basically everything that I believe and that I value is a lie um, and is not justified. Who are you to tell me that my beliefs are wrong? You have your beliefs, whether you believe homosexuality is right or wrong or immoral or whatever, that is your beliefs. You are not wrong for having your own opinions and your beliefs and values. Therefore, I am not wrong in having my opinions, values, and beliefs. So. Who are you to sit there and tell me that I'm, I'm being wrong? Who are you, really? Um, and before I go any further, I, if I offend some people with this video, that's just what it is. Because I'm not the type of person to, like, okay. Coming on YouTube and being open about my sexuality, of course, this was to be expected, eventually. And I've been anticipating this, um, this type of uh, remark for a very long time, um, but clearly I was not prepared for it. Um, and the reason why this has me so riled up is because it, it, these same words that this young lady spoke, um, these were the same things that my mom was, was telling me. This was the same things that had me going through a very, into a very dark place where I was hating myself basically for what I was. Um, because like she said, God it does not agree with homosexuality. It is an abomination, which is um, extreme hatred and aberration. So, um, I don't believe that, obviously. Um, and I don't believe that I am just set for hell for being gay. Because, I mean, if that was the case, I, like, it's... it's this is so controversial, and I'm not trying to stir the pot or rile things up, but you really, I took this very personal, because this is like, um, this is a personal attack on my own faith and my beliefs. Um, and maybe you, maybe, maybe she did not mean it to be, um, to come off so negatively, but that's, that's how I received it, that's how I interpreted it, and... I mean, I'm not going to apologize for that because you're responsible for what you say. Now, go ahead, what 
was what was I trying to say? I'm not gonna edit this video. I'm just gonna keep it. However, my words come out is just how they come out. Um, so, yeah, I feel that she, she was wrong for basically telling me that my beliefs were wrong. And who are, who, who are you to, to, to say what God thinks? How do you know what God thinks? How can any one of us even begin to comprehend how a, an entity that's not of this world thinks? Just because you, you can read and memorize the Bible, a, a text that's been interpreted and translated and transcribed many of hundreds of thousands of times by different people of different races and religions and culture, not religions, but different cultures and, and traditions. When you transcribe from one language to another, and I've learned this because I take Japanese, there's not always a direct translation for one, one word to the next from one language to another. There isn't always a direct translation. So sometimes when words get translated, interpretation gets lost. Meaning gets construed. Okay? So just because you can read out the Bible does not necessarily mean that that is the way God wanted you to interpret his word. Okay? That's what I'm saying. So you are not God. I mean, you, you can read out the Bible, but that does not make you any more holier than I am. Any more, you know spiritual spiritually in touch with God than I am um so what I mean I have, I really just don't know what to say I, I just really took offense to this because I I made it a point in my video to say that I was not trying to force my beliefs onto anyone or change anyone's beliefs um and I feel that that's important because Everybody has their right to have their own set of beliefs or whatever. And I, I just really think that it's very ignorant um, and very uh, intolerant on your part to say that I, I, what I believe is wrong. Even though that may be your belief, okay? But what, what you believe in is what you believe in and what I believe in is what I believe in. And you should not be basically telling me that everything I believe in is false and that I'm not justified or going to heaven. I mean, seriously, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm, I'm not the most articulate person. I have so many feelings and emotions right now that I wish I could express right now because it's just, it's so much going through my mind. And this really, this really just brought me back to a place um, five years ago when I first came out and I heard these same exact words um, being yelled at me by my mother. Um, the same words that had me feeling self-hate towards myself and what I was to the point where I was going mentally insane and that I wanted to hurt and kill myself. Um, these are things that you, you really need to watch to take more precaution and the things that you say to people and how you say them because words are very powerful um, and it I mean clearly because I'm so upset um, but if I'm if I wasn't the person that I am today I if, if you told me that five years ago I would probably be in a very bad place right now because I mean, that is, I don't know, I, I hope you guys get what I'm trying to say, because I just, I can't come out with it right now, I'm just feeling a certain kind of way, um, how this is this, okay, um, so, uh, yeah, that, that, I mean, that's, that's basically it, you guys, I mean, just, I understand that this is the first of many more um, comments and remarks that I'm going to have to deal with uh, being so open on YouTube and on the internet and things like that. So um, I need to prepare myself um, for this because 
I really, when I first came on here, this is not, I did not sign up for this. I mean, I, I thought about this, and this is what made me very hesitant and skeptical about coming on here and doing videos. Um, because I know everyone is not going to be receptive to an openly gay male. So, I know there are many of you out there that watch me that believe the same thing that this young lady believes and have the same set of values and beliefs. And, you know, kudos to you. I mean, like I said, I don't have any feelings towards you. If you feel this way, I understand that everybody has their own, like I said, their own set of beliefs. So, I feel like I'm just getting very redundant right now. And, um, I just, I just need to vent that off. So, I think that kind of helped. So, um... Thanks for listening, you guys. I'll see you real soon.